starting your own business into export and import in the logistics field is a little bit risky and it is very normal for you to be afraid of it as well but what you can do here is you can take a job into such companies and get some experience some practical exposure to what really happens into the market and then decide how to start your own business or stick to the job market and develop your career into the logistics and international trade sector well this is kunal your international trade consultant and today i'll be discussing couple of tips from my personal end which might help you a lot into finding a good job into logistics sector for latest updates subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon like every sector logistics sector and international trade sector also has a lot of different fields and sub sectors in it so let's say if we are talking about exporters point of view you can enter into the purchase department where you purchase the raw material you can enter into the documentation department you can enter into the production department you can enter into the packaging department you can enter into the marketing department accounting department hr department admin department there are tons of different department and when we talk about the logistic service provider companies like cha or freight forwarders or shipping line so that the job roles would be marketing coordination planning of the vessel allotment of the containers and other vehicles so there are many different fields available into the logistics and the international trade sector the first question is what you want maybe it's not the highest paying maybe it's not the best but if that's what you want then that's the job you should go for because then only you will put your heart and soul into the job otherwise you will only be working till the deal is lucrative for you and once it is not you would be back to square one and you will have to start again so figuring out what your personality is what your mindset is what type of person you are what type of company are you comfortable working with small scale medium scale large scale mnc anything shortlist these jobs shortlist these companies and try to see where you fit in into them just because there is a job vacancy available you are the right candidate it's not going to happen there are lacks of job right now available in the world and you can only do one job at a time so you need to be a little bit self critical here self observant here and find out that for which job you are the perfect fit to give you a rough idea i would say that we can divide the logistics field into three major sector one would be documentation when you handle all the document of the client of the shipping line of each and every shipment involved in it and it is purely a desk job second would be operations department whereby you go and supervise the actual operations happening loading and unloading of the cargo handover of the container to the vessel and tons of other activities these are on field activities and you will have to practically be available at the site of operations the third is the field of sales and marketing wherein you will be in charge of bringing business to your office to the place that you are working you would be in charge of acquiring new clients and bringing in more orders for the company so if i round it up it can be said that in documentation you need to be very precise in finding the errors in the document and be very thorough with the work that you do in case of operational division you need to be very good at problem solving you need to be available at all time and you need to deal with a lot of people wherein you might also have to deal with the truck drivers to the custom officer you need to have that diplomacy and mindset with you and in the case of sales and marketing you need to have a charming personality you need to have great communication skills great presentation skills and and you need to have great consistency in following up with the client so now if you analyze yourself and if you see okay, okay i am a good person for operation let's say or i am a good person for documentation or i am a good person for marketing then go for such type of jobs if you think that you are good at all the three then my dear friend you are a genuine expert of the logistics industry or else you are a little bit misguided so have that clarity first now other than this the main question comes is, sir i put my heart i put my soul i put my time i put my energy and what salary do i get well logistics sector is a little hard sector when it comes to the salary but it directly relates to the task undertaken now let's say if you are doing just one task that your job is only to scan documents for error 
then your salary will be related to that only. But on the other end, if you have more tasks that you would create the document, you will scan them from error and then you will make sure that the document reaches the right place. Also, if you have all these three responsibilities with you, then your salary might increase. So it is directly related to the task undertaken and the growth potential area is very high because the logistics sector is ever evolving sector and there are new things coming each and every day. And now with the globalization everywhere, you have a lot of market potential and now with the global markets expanding and more and more countries dealing with each other more and more people entering into the export and import field your demand is definitely going to go up well i know this video was a little bit personal this was from my own experience my own failures and what i learned throughout the course of my professional journey as well well i hope that you might have found it a little bit helpful if yes then please press the like button Share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel to become a smart logistician. This is Kunal signing off till next time. For detailed learning of all logistics subjects, visit www.logivader.com.